Hey everyone, it's Jasmine. Um, so I just want to do like a really small haul for you guys. Um, yep. So it's kind of a collective haul because some of the stuff I've had for a couple days, but nonetheless, I have a haul for you guys. So, um, the first thing that I wanted to show you, this is actually a birthday gift from my dad. It's the Kirkland, uh, brush set from Costco. Um, yeah, I really like Costco makeup. It's really inexpensive and it's made by Bor Borges, Borges or something like that. Borges. Yeah, I'm so horrible with pronouncing things, but, um. I really like their makeup. If you guys have Costco cards, I'd recommend to at least try out their makeup because it's pretty inexpensive. Um, I use the sunscreen um, moisturizer thingy, and I really like that. Um, I like it better than the Olay one. <coughs> and, yeah, they just have really inexpensive stuff um, for you. And if any of you guys like CoverGirl Lash Blast, that's where I buy mine. You get a pack of... Three. So this is the brush set. Um, you guys might have seen this like from other makeup channels and stuff. But it comes with I think eight brushes, and one of them is a double-ended brush. Comes with an eyelash curler and a little mini travel set with um. Four brushes and a little case. It's so cute. I love it so much. See? My sister was trying to talk me into giving this to her, but I was like, no. And then it comes with a little brush thingy, a holder, and I don't really think it's the cutest thing ever. Like, I actually think it's kind of ugly, but I like it anyways because it has, like, you can, it has little compartments for the brushes. I don't know if you could see, but like <coughs> like the brushes slide in here so it's kind of like a brush roll but like a bag instead see it's not falling out because it has a little slip for it but yeah so that's what i got it comes with eight brushes um a powder brush um this is like a a like flat top brush like a, for bronzers or mineral foundation this is an angled foundation brush um eyeshadow brush a crease brush blending brush um flat eyeliner brush a smudger brush and a angled brow brush and then this is a spoolie on the other side so I'm really happy, I'm excited. Um, I've been hearing a lot about these brush sets, so I'm glad that he got them for me. Even though I just got my Sigma brushes, I'm still happy that I got these ones too. Um, you can never have too many, right? I hate having to clean them while I'm putting my makeup on. But yeah, they're really soft and I've heard good things about them. I'll post a review of these along with my Sigma brushes once I've gotten to know them a little better. Yep. So that's the first thing in my haul. I also went to the 99 cent store in Walgreens. Um, so I got these uh, because one of my subbies told me that they sell them at the 99 cent store. So I got some bubble wrap so I can wrap up your guys' prizes. I'm probably going to need to get more of this. I don't know. I don't know if it's going to wrap everything up. Um, I got this little book for my nephews. They had this at the 99 cent store. And um, what it is, is like, they're see-through things like that. So yeah, it's like that. And what you do is you shine a flashlight through it, and... It will, like, project it on the wall, which I thought was really cool. Um, my boyfriend was over there messing with it, so it works. And it just puts, like, a big picture on the wall, um, projects a big picture on the wall. This was also from the 99 cent store, and I was like, surprised to find Crayola stuff there. When you're trying to cut 
something without having a line from the edge. Like if you want to make a stencil, like a homemade stencil or something, you know how that's really hard to do? Well, that's what this is for. Like you set it down like this on the paper, I think, and then you like cut along whatever shape that you want. I'm getting into scrapbooking and how I told you I make those custom palettes for people, so I'm starting to get into like artsy stuff. Um, and then the last thing that I got is kind of weird for me to put in a haul, but I thought I'd just put it anyway. I got these mucus relief capsules from Walgreens because as you guys know I'm sick and I actually went to go get the Mucinex stuff but it was way overpriced. It was like $15 and some of them were $25. The one that I needed was $25. So I was like well I'll try the Walgreens generic brand and in case any of you guys are sick right now these are only $4 for 30 capsules and they're buy one get one free at Walgreens. So, yep, I got some of those. I got one for cough and one just a regular one. Um, <coughs> so I'm going to try these and I'll tell, well, obviously you guys are going to know if I get better from them. And if these don't help me get better, I'm going to have to go to the doctor. So this is like my last resort. Anyways, um, I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.